Hi there everyone and in this video I would like to show you a very beautiful chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca against Rudolf Spielmann, his important rival. And this was from the San Sebastian chess tournament from 1911. And this San Sebastian chess tournament is considered as one of the strongest chess tournaments in the early 20th century era. So, some of the competence of this tournament was one of the most important famous chess players at the time. Capablanca won this tournament. And besides Capablanca, Akiba Rubinstein, Milan Widmar, Frank James Marshall, Sigbert Tarasch, Karl Schlechter, Aaron Nimzovich, Osip Bernstein, Rudolf Spielmann, Richard Teichman, Geza Maroksi, David Janowski. These were some of the other chess players who competed in this very strong chess tournament. 15 of the leading chess players at the time competed. So interesting and I also have a small and a very nice picture of this event. So if you look carefully you can also spot Capablanca in this picture. Okay, so long story short, Capablanca won this chess tournament and he shined, actually. This was one of the most important moments in the colorful chess career of Capablanca. So this is from 1911 and this was the first ever encounter of Capablanca and Rudolf Spielmann. Actually, they played 12 chess games in their career, uh, in their lifetime. And two wins for each and they drew eight times. So it was very impressive for Rudolf Spielmann. He tied with Capablanca. But I'm sure if they would play it in a match, I would give my money to Capablanca. I think Capablanca would defeat Spielmann in a match. So they run across to each other in some chess tournaments and in some events. And... Spielmann has managed to tie with Capablanca. Interesting. So this was, again, their first ever encounter in 1911. Later they met again in 1925, 14 years later. So, okay, let's see what happened. Capablanca, who has the white pieces, starts the game with d4, d5, knight to f3, c5, and we have c3. Knight to f6, e3, and we have the call system. Knight to c6, d takes on c5. e5, b4, and Capablanca is defending his c5 pawn. Pluses and minuses. White has doubled pawn structure, which looks awkward. But on the other hand, white is a pawn up. Queen to c7, bishop to b2, bishop to e6, Developing the knight and then bishop to e7. Bishop to e2, nothing's interesting so far. So both players are castling and they are developing their pieces, lining the rook with the queen. Queen to c2 by Capablanca, stepping aside, and bishop to g4. And Capablanca wants to open the game and he played e4. D takes on e4, Spielmann is accepting the challenge. Knight takes on e4. Exchanging the pieces and simplifying the game is going to favor Capablanca, as we all know. So attacking the bishop and Spielmann decided to push the pawn, f5. But this weakens the light squares a little bit. Pushing the pawn and also defending the bishop and this is an aggressive move. Queen to c4, check. Moving the king and then fighting for the open file. Rook from a to d1. e4. And then knight to d4. Well, in this position, as you can see, Capablanca is also targeting this tender square with the knight. So knight to e5, attacking the queen. Queen to b3, and bishop takes on e2. Knight takes on e2, and then knight to g4 by Rudolf Spielmann. You can see that he is threatening checkmate. So Capablanca 
is interposing with his knight, not making any pawn move and creating some weaknesses. So, <coughs> in this position, Capablanca is blocking with the knight, knight to g3, but Spielman played a crafty move, credit to him, he played f4. So, sacrificing a pawn, and actually this was a pretty good move by Spielman. But Capablanca wisely didn't capture the pawn and he played rook takes on d8. Let's check out what happens if accepting the pawn sacrifice. So, already Capablanca is a pawn up, but as a romantic chess player, Rudolf Spielman likes to sacrifice some pawns and create some open files and attack his opponent. In this position, if knight takes on e4, then black has this crafty move, f3. And if g3, then if black can somehow bring the queen to the h file, that is going to be game over. Okay? So, it is going to weaken, as you can see, the light square. And this is not looking very good for white, actually. And uh, in this position, after knight takes on e4, f3, if knight goes back, uh, you can see that uh, black is threatening checkmate. So if knight goes back, uh, then simply capturing the pawn. And if king takes, then queen check. And this doesn't look good. You can see that this looks awful for white. So after moving the king, queen over. Is very dangerous. So this was the idea of Rudolf Spielmann. This is why he pushed the pawn and Capablanca again didn't capture the pawn. He saw what's happening here. He played rook takes on the eight. Rook takes on the eight and then queen to e6 attacking the aggressor. Exchanging the knights and then g takes on h2 and getting back the pawn with check. So the queen is defending king to h1 and then queen to e5 and holding the position together, defending everything and holding everything together with glue. Rook to e1 by Capablanca targeting the weakness. Very simple chess. So we have rook to d2 infiltrating with the rook. A logical idea. But Capablanca, play, Capablanca simply captured on e4. Rook takes on e4. And Capablanca is a pawn up again. But we have queen to c7. Well, this might cross your mind. Uh, what happens if rook to d1? Only defense is queen takes rook. Queen takes rook and then king takes on h2. And actually, white is doing very well. White is two pawns up in this position. So, white is winning. Very simple chess. So, rook takes on e4 and queen to c7, both defending the queen and also defending the bishop and also defending the back rank. As you can see, the back rank is not looking very good. And then Capablanca played an obvious move. He played bishop to c1, of course, defending the bishop and attacking the rook. So, rook takes on f2, equalizing the material. And black is threatening checkmate, rook to f1, and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Well, actually, white has a very simple and a very obvious move in this position. It should be simple. Capablanca played bishop to f4, of course. So, if rook to f1, king takes on h2. And attacking the queen at the same time. So queen to d8, defending the queen and also defending the bishop, holding everything together just on time. But black queen's defensive capabilities is overloaded. Can you see why? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces, white plays a move and black is in trouble? Okay, so Capablanca played. I hope you have seen this move. Rook takes bishop. What a move. Wonderful. And threatening checkmate at the same time. 
and sacrificing the exchange. But Spielen played queen to f8, of course, defending the checkmate thread and not touching the rook. Actually, this is all over. If accepting the sacrifice, then check only defends and getting checkmated, or queen to f8 and getting checkmated. So there is a back rank problem. This is why Capablanca confidently captured the bishop. Spielmann is defending the checkmate threat, but this is not defending anything. Maybe in this position, a bishop to d6 comes to mind. But white has a killer move in this position. What would you do if you had the white pieces? If I give you a couple of seconds, can you see the killer move that white has? After that move, Rudolf Spielmann resigned. <laughs> it is that simple. <clears throat> okay, so Capablanca picked his queen and he landed on g7 and Rudolf Spielmann resigned. The queen is overloaded. The possible continuation and actually the only continuation is queen takes on g7 and then check one of the only defense check only move and it is white to move how should white play of course bishop to h6 check and what else and then we can capture the rook and this is winning easily for white of course so after this knockout punch by Capablanca, Rudolf Spielmann resigned. So queen takes on g7, checking the king. Let me show you one more variation. If queen to g8, what happens then? Then bishop to e5, the queen is pinned. This is even worse. Because black is getting checkmated. So only defense and then bishop takes on f6. Check, mate. The queen is pinned. Fantastic. Simply amazing. So this is how Capablanca destroyed his very strong rival in this chess game. So first rook takes on e7 and then queen takes on g7 and Rudolf Spielmann resigned. Spielmann is also known as the final romantic of chess. So thank you very much for watching and this was one of the... Uh, Notable chess games of the San Sebastian chess tournament from 1911. So, I hope to see you again with more interactive chess games. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.